CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. These are the four colors that a printing press uses in combination to achieve almost every color in the spectrum. This mode is most often used when you're preparing an image for print. The CMYK color space is used almost as often, if not more often, than the RGB color space. And the reason that is is because everything that you're ever going to print out, and here I'm talking both about your inkjet printer that you have sitting off to your right, as well as huge production printers, use this color model in order to create the images on paper. If you were to open up your inkjet printer and take a look at the ink cartridges, you might see something similar to this. And the reason that is is because the way your printer works is similar to the way an industrial printer works, and that is it combines these four colors, yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. Some printers add a light cyan, a light magenta, and even maybe a light yellow. They combine all these colors, print them out on the page, and that produces the images that you see when it prints out. If you're doing a lot of print work, oftentimes a printer will send you a color profile that you can then load into Photoshop, and it will match your color settings in Photoshop to the actual colors that they're using in the printers. So, how does this work? Well, if we were to take a look at the CMYK color model, CMYK is a subtractive color model, and we just talked about the RGB color model in the previous video. This is basically the opposite of that. When you mix these colors together, yellow and cyan will give you green, cyan and magenta give you that dark blue, and the yellow and magenta give you that red. Where they meet in the middle is the black. Originally, if a printing press were to print out this image here, there are a couple of different ways to achieve this, and the first process basically was comprised only of the cyan, magenta, and yellow. And the reason this is is because, as I said, it's a subtractive color, so the more color that you add, the darker the image is going to be. So for the black areas over here on this barn, you can see that these are the filled-in areas on every single color plate. Eventually this became expensive because now in order to achieve black, we're using cyan, magenta, and yellow, so printers added black to the mix. Here's that exact same image with a black plate added. So you can see here, we don't need to add all of three of these colors together to get the shadows of the barn because the black takes care of that for us. Yes, this does add a fourth ink, but now again, like I said, we're not adding every single color in equal amounts of ink to get a black color. So there's your basic description of CMYK, and like I said, mostly you're gonna use this if you're doing anything for print. If you're doing posters or shirts or signs of any kind, and you have to work with a printer, and by this I mean an industrial printer, not the printer next to your desk, although as we discussed, that works in the similar method, then this is the color mode you're gonna use. Well, that's all for CMYK. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions you have to request at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.